So today's model is something that everybody has been asking ever since I released one of the models in that community. Today's model is something very special. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rule. And guys, today's house is something very, very, very special. I actually did a house in this community just a couple of weeks ago and oh my God, I had so many people reach out and I'm going to reveal what's so special. But the house behind me is four bedrooms, three bathrooms, 2130 square foot. The master bedroom is downstairs with the master bathroom. It's a beautiful home. It's a three car garage and this is what it has. Look at this guys, it has this RV garage. This is something that you really, really, really don't find in Central Florida. Now you're just about 45 minutes to an hour away to the Disney park, about an hour, 15 minutes to Orlando downtown. But this is something that you don't find. And there's a lot of people that have boats that has just the RV and they just want to lock in or have a garage that will accommodate that. And I did a model couple of weeks ago we released it and oh my god everybody's been asking hey can i build this model in this community let me just tell you you cannot build those models in other communities for two reasons number one it's not allowed or permitted in that community and number two not every builder is going to build that specific model this is a very unique feature and with the amount of people that kind of move in it's just something that everybody has been asking. It's a beautiful model and guess what? It is affordable. Seriously guys, it is affordable. You could be all in for 400 with some upgrades and everything and you're not far from everything. And with the boats, with the RV, I mean like we have so many lakes that if you have a boat, you can actually fit that in there. It's just absolutely amazing. The base price of this house is 369,450. There is no CDD, the HOA is only $67. So there's no major amenities available in this community. However, you can actually build this house as a five bedroom. I'm going to explain this to you a little bit more, but let's go in and check. So you're going to see you have this really nice pad and it's kind of nice that it's separated and you have a little, uh, you know, a little uh, la la landscape right over here, but look at the height of this garage. Isn't that amazing? Put that in the comment below. Obviously you have this nice pad. So let's go inside and check this beautiful model. What I like is that you have this nice walkway and then you have some sort of a front uh, porch area, if I may. Now, I don't believe that you can screen it, but you never know once the builder kind of gives the HOA to the homeowners. It's actually a homeowner's decision because I've seen that in some communities where you cannot cover the front porch, but when the HOA is given to the homeowners, they have made a decision as a community that they would allow for you to do that. So that is something kind of to look into. The, let's go inside and check this beautiful model out. Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful builder. Now guys, this is not a decorated model and what I'm trying to do, because I've done so many of these videos that sometimes, and I just don't understand why, but sometimes the builders are going to build just the same model in every community. They'll have like 10 communities, but then they'll just build the same model, but then they're selling 10 or 11 different models or 10 or 11 different floor plans. And I can tell you, I don't know about you, but for me, Unless I physically walk in, touch, feel, and I just don't understand the floor plan as such. I, I guess I'm not that savvy when it comes to just reading maps and stuff. I'm, I'm just not good at it. So it doesn't make sense to me. So what I'm now trying to do is trying to get every single floor plan that the builder has done. And if I can get myself in before they close on it or before they sell it, I would love to do that. So sometimes you might see these models are not really... Uh, kind of not decorated or just empty and you might see some uh, blue tape, green tape or some things. I'm just trying to get those for you so we kind of get an idea now. I don't want to do it when it's in pre-drywall because you'll be all confused just like I am all confused. So just keep that in mind but I just also want to say if you are looking to buy a house anywhere in Central Florida and Tampa area, this is a great resource. Press that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel. And now we have also started doing YouTube shots. We are also doing Instagram and I'm doing my song and dance on TikTok too. So make sure to follow me on all those platforms because I have always done YouTube videos and finally I got over my, my, my hesitation and stuff and kind of freed up a little bit of time because I have some amazing buyer's agent. I have amazing Anna, amazing Nader to help me 
so that can help me free up the time and bring you quality videos and do other things. So that's what I've been working on. So the first thing you're gonna notice that this is the eight foot door, which is a standard feature with this builder, nine foot four ceiling height. But this is something that I wanna show you. You do get the blinds with this builder as of right now, but look at this, isn't that amazing? I kind of hate when you have those those uh, thread ones and you know I have two little kids I'm always afraid that they might just try to swing by it or do all the crazy stuff but that is something so I just love these new magnetic blinds one thing you will also notice is that they have this little cold closet for like three or four days that it gets cold in Florida and then it's nice and beautiful and sunny so as I walk now you will see that the flooring over here is actually an upgrade and doesn't it really look like tile but it's actually not a tile it's a LVP which is a laminate vinyl plank flooring now this is somewhat water resistance to a certain degree but that doesn't mean if you pour a bucket of water and let it sit that it's not going to go bad but the way you need to find that out when you go into a home and if you just knock on it you can actually find out because the sound of a vinyl plank is very different than the sound of a, a tile because tile would not have that that hollow sound that you can see. So as I go over here, you have this half a bathroom. So it's four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. So you have half a bathroom over right here. And I just like, it's kind of big. It's not that literally little one. And then as I go in, look at this. Wow, the whole house opens up. This is the standard feature in terms of the island of the kitchen. The upgrade is in regards to the crown molding the color of the cabinets. Now you do get a GE appliance, so you do get a GE range hood. You also get the GE thing, uh, uh, microwave. But here's what I want you to point out, point out. This microwave vents outside. Now the good thing about this is that it vents outside, so all the smell and everything goes. Now, I cook with a lot of spices, so sometimes the spices, you know, the aroma stays in the house. But you know, by having it vent out, yes, I do lose the space, but I would do this all day and twice on Sundays because that's just the way I am. But for you, maybe that is something that you want. You want the cabinet space because you don't use that much spices and your house may not smell that much of food, but that's a personal choice. So just keep that in mind. The other thing, which is also an upgrade is this. Whenever I show a home to my wife, I promise, this is what she does every single time. It does not fail. I can bet. Come in and look at that. That's a slow close or a soft touch close. And the, the, you know, I have little kids, so they'll just be banging the doors all day long. But look at this, isn't that a nice feature? So you have this open kitchen, you have this nice space right there. And then right over here, you have a good size pantry and it kind of goes just a little bit in. It's located really, really well in that little staircase, um, you know, cavity right there. Most of the time I've seen that as a storage space, but I just love with this builder, how they kind of utilizes their space and kind of goes in and then right over here is your laundry. Now with them, you're not getting the washer and dryer as of yet. However, what they are doing is they are paying for all your closing costs or most of it because they're paying up to 3% in closing costs and prepaid. Now, please keep in mind, when you build a home and you get a mortgage, there's a cost that is associated with the mortgage and there's a cost that is associated with the prepaids. Prepaids are like uh, paying your taxes for the couple of months in advance or paying your insurance for a year in advance. Those are prepaids and some builders cover it, some builders do not. So just keep that in mind. But let me go ahead and take you in here, which is the selling feature of this amazing house. And guess what, 400,000 or below? Like look at your garage. This is your two car garage, all the space right here. And look at this, voila. I absolutely love this. I did a model, it's already released. It's called the Cooper model with this builder. And it's actually a single story, three bedrooms, I think 1900 some square footage, but you can make that into a four bedroom. Same thing with this house. You can make this into a five bedroom because it does have a loft, which I'll take you in just a moment, but you can always change that. But look at the ceiling height guys. Wow, a concrete block. Now, please keep in mind your house on the second floor is actually a frame. So that is something to just keep that in mind because most builders will have the block on the first floor and then frame on the second. So just keep that in mind. But look at this space, guys. All of this, like you can go on and on. Like you can really store a big, huge RV or a nice big boat and still have the room. One thing I do want to point out that this door is actually an upgrade. So if you do not want that door, then you're not going to have that door. So just keep that in mind. But 
369, the lot size is 50 by 110. The lot prices is anywhere from 4,000 to 7,500. So if you add that up and you get a couple of upgrades, you're probably looking in lower fours um, or just very high threes, and you should be able to get this house for that price. Now the refrigerator over here do not convey, so just keep that in mind. But what I love is that you have this cabinet space right there. This could be your coffee station, your bread station, but look at that, you have those extra lights. Now guys, if you are building a house from scratch, make sure to watch my do's and don'ts of building a brand new home because I not only talk about that, but I also show you what you can and what you cannot, or what you should, and what you should not do so that you can save the money because you want to spend the money definitely in your kitchen and definitely in your master bathroom. Those are the two most important places where if you spend the money, you will get more bang for your buck in the long run. So just keep that in mind. But I just love all this space right here. And then you also get a covered patio area. So let me go ahead and take you there and look at that. One of the big disadvantage in this house would be that you may not have enough room to build a pool. So if you want to build, maybe a single story might work, but maybe if you can get a corner lot or something which has a little bit more space, that is something to keep that in mind. So just keep those things in mind because it's a matter of personal choices. It's a matter of what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And to be honest with you, I've had a house with a pool and trust me, I barely ever went in there. So for me, having a community pool is a better option because I don't want the upkeep. And, and now that I have kids, I might change that because I got to get them busy. Like I got to get them running around because, oh my God, I just have two. And sometimes I've had a client, they have like three, four or five. And I'm like, give me some tips, please. I, I don't understand. How could you manage that? But uh, it is what it is, you know, but let me go ahead and take you over here. This is where you have your master bedroom and you have this nice space right there. So there's a lot of room. It kind of goes there. So if you are looking for a house that gives you a lot of room to store, this is it. This is really, really nice. So guys, if you are looking to buy a house here, but you're not sure about where to go, make sure to check out Orlando Living because that's where I bring you community videos. We talk about school, hospitals, shopping, dining, everything that you really need to know or do your research to decide, hey, I'm looking to move in Central Florida. This is my budget, where I can buy. I have kids that go to school, which are the good schools area. What is that you want to do that would work? But let me go ahead and show you this master bedroom. Look at the size of this master bedroom. I always want extra lights. Now guys, this is a quick move in. Now what it means is basically, this is a house, the builder spec'd it out. It, is, it comes with everything that you see. So this house specifically has your refrigerator, your washer, your dryer. This is the price. There is no change to the, to the of, of course the price is negotiable, but what I mean by no change is there's no change to the design. You can't come in and say, hey, I don't like the barn door. I just want the door or I don't like the cabinet color because there are two kind of homes. There's inventory home, which is basically an inventory home that has already been specced out and you still have an opportunity to go to the builder and say, I want this color cabinet, I want this color flooring or tiles or whatever it is. And then there is quick move in, which is everything has been done and it's gonna be done in the next 30 to 60 days, take it or leave it. And then there is the whole house itself. It just specked out with everything. You cannot change it. It's not a quick move in because they are still building it. It's not close to be being done, but it's been, um, permitted with everything that builder wanted in it. So that like this house was that house, but now that it's complete, it becomes a quick move in. So that's the difference. The other thing that I want to point out is this beautiful barn door. As beautiful as this is, I believe the builder right now is charging about $3,000 and you can go to Costco. I love Costco. Well, do you put that in the comment below? You can buy something like this for about twelve dollars to $1,500 if I remember correctly. And you can pay a handyman two to $300 and do this yourself and save some money. This is what I'm talking about, the do's and don'ts. This is something that could be done easily. It's not a major structural thing that you have to pay so much money. So it really actually boils down to a convenience or to save money. I'm like, whatever works for you, that's what I'm trying to get to. But let's go inside. I love the, the way they have the undermount sink. I love the, the faucet, beautiful faucet. Color is an upgrade. Of course, the tiling is. And then this is a walk-in, which is actually an upgrade. I wish they would have done the tiles all the way up and maybe had some sort of different color tile right in the middle or right over here. 
it would have really looked different it would have really popped it out you know so that is something i would have absolutely loved but what i also like about this house is that they have this door to the water closet for the longest time i used to call this a, a toilet and then one of my very close clients and good friends now they actually told me it's called a water closet up north so and, and they watch my video more often and they always text me hey great job on that thank you for the call out but look at that this is your master's uh, closet not very big and yes, I'm not going to say anything about the closet. I'm going to tell you a story in just a minute. I'm not going to say anything about the closet right now, but good size closet and it's just beautiful. If you haven't subscribed guys, so please go ahead and do that and make sure that please check us out our YouTube shots, our Instagram reels, and I'm doing the song and dance on TikTok too now. And you know, I, I guess I got to do all the stuff like that I haven't been doing because I've just been so busy and it's not that I don't want to do, it's just that I haven't had the time to do it. Uh, one thing that I do want to say, and, and I, I, I do want to say this is, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for calling us and my team. I started this channel just about two and a half years ago. And my, if you watch my first video, I'm like, I'm nervous, I'm sweating bullets. I'm, I'm just there and now I've done over close to 260, 270, I actually lost count and I could probably do this. I understand exactly what my clients want. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you for the reach out. We just recently did a client appreciation picnic. We had over 80 plus people come in. I'm gonna be posting that on my YouTube shots, uh, a quick video, and it was a fantastic event, and it was just great. And I want you to know that, you know, for me and my team, that relationship is more important than the house. The house will sell itself when it's the right time for you and your family to make that move. Our job is to give you the information and your job is to make a decision when it's right time for you. So when it's right time for you and if you believe that we can help you, please reach us out. We greatly would appreciate it. So let's go up and check rest of this beautiful model out. So as I come up, I want to point out, this is something that they actually need by code. Now I have seen with some builders, they'll have a nice piece of wood there, it kind of makes it more stronger. However, there is actually a piece of wood right behind this that it's kind of uh, bolted into. But I think having a piece of wood, it's not only decorated, but it kind of makes it more steady or stronger. And that's just my opinion. But as you come up, you're going to see you have your eight foot ceiling right over here. And then right here, this is actually your loft area. Now, this is actually an upgrade. So if you decide not to have that, you're going to have a knee wall. So this would not be open, but this is where you can have a fifth bedroom. They probably will have it. I, I think I have to look at the floor plan, but this is where you're going to have the fifth bedroom if you desire to have that. For me, open space, I love that. But if you have more kids or if you need more room, then that is an option to look in. So let's go into this room. And I love the size of the rooms. They're not really big, but they're pretty good size. I definitely would have liked extra light, especially if this room is going to be a room where I work out of, because a lot of people now work out of homes. And I always say this, when you're working out of a home or when you have a master bedroom that's massive, getting those extra lights is a huge, huge bonus. So just keep that in mind. And then another thing I want to point out is I love this part, like just a simple one solid piece of door for your walk-in closet. I hate those split ones. I'm like, I hate those ones for sure, but it also depends upon the price point, but I definitely, I'm not big fan of those rolling ones because the rolling ones always come out too, but I guess I put too much power in it or something. But look at that, this is your closet space right here. Not huge, but still very comfortable. And then you have the other bedrooms right over there. And as I go, you have the bathroom, which is your second bathroom right here. What I love about this bathroom is that you have the double sinks right there, undermount sinks. And then you have this really nice cabinet. Now with some builders, they give you an option to have the double tone. What it actually means is that you can have this color or the uh, you can have a different color um, in the house. So you can have a different color cabinets in your bathrooms and a different color cabinets in your kitchen. So that's something to keep in mind. But what I love is that you have a door shower tub combination right over here. Simple, plain white tiles, nothing exceptional. And then over here is 
your toilet or the it's not a water closet because I, they didn't want it to put a door but i think having that door there kind of makes sense you know with my two kids one is getting ready one is brushing his teeth it kind of helps and it makes it easier especially you know the mornings are hectic you know and i'm sure the mornings are hectic in any of the households you know especially with the kids so as i go over here this is where you have the other bedroom a little bit bigger bedroom you know and then you have this nice window with that magnetic um blinds that i mentioned and then you also have the closet space right there i like it that they always like they have this walk-in closet rather than those really thin ones i like if you look at the space it's pretty much very similar you just have it like this then having a thin closet all the way across that i've seen with other builders let me know your thoughts and guys with every builder there's going to be a standard feature and if you want to know hey for my base price of 369950 what do i get put in the comment below or text us or email us or reach us out and i'll be happy to send you that so that you can see hey what is included and what is it that it's going to cost me more money so just keep those things in mind so as i go over here now before i go there they do have a small closet space so a lot of closet space and then you also have the entrance to the attic but there's something that i want to really show you in this house so as i come over here this is your other bedroom pretty decent size you have the uh, a window there a window here i wish they had two windows there but i do believe that with this specific builder they kind of give you that option if you want to add more windows you can do that that's usually not the case with most builders but this builder is kind of different because i've seen that with their other models especially in the master bedroom they will have the two windows right there or the two windows on the side but that's an addition they'll just have one window as a standard feature on the side but if you want two windows at the back that is something you could do so here's what i want to point out this is your other closet and the thing that i actually want to point out this is an entrance to your attic area or this is entrance to your uh, back one thing that i want to point out is actually this so this is something which is a blown insulation which is actually a good feature the best would have been a spray foam which the meritage does but with this builder they don't do that but at least they don't have that fiberglass thing that i have seen with some of the builder this is still better than that well these are just my thoughts i hope you get a lot of value from our videos and again thank you so much now please keep in mind our services to you is absolutely free so when you give us a call you will be talking to somebody on my team their job is to connect you to the right agent and and help you now when you do talk to my team one thing that we do very different is we're going to do a zoom call and we always record our zoom call for two reasons one is for training purposes the other reason is so we can go back the agent can go back and listen to it so when you come down instead of showing you 50 homes and confusing you we want to show you what fits your budget what fits your needs so that at the end of the day you have clarity what we don't want to do is give you so much information that you get overwhelmed and then you are not able to make a decision because one of my mentor taught me a clear mind will make a better decision our job is to get all that information and then do that please read our reviews please check us out on google zillow facebook and now that i'm dancing on tiktok check that out also i'm doing uh, instagram reels just providing some extra tips my handle on that is actually dgupta orlando for tiktok dgupta orlando for Instagram and then YouTube shots are all across my three channels. We also have Orlando Home Show in Espanol that are super amazing Anna Karina runs because my Spanish trust me is still poquito. Until the next one, bye for now. Thank you for watching.